Big news for type 1 diabetics, Biomea Fusion gets government approvals to study new T1D therapy. Biomea Fusion announces FDA clearance of investigational new drug, IND, application for BMF 219 in type 1 diabetes. Wow, there is a lot to unpack in this story, so stick with me to the end, okay? BMF-219 is a novel covalent menin inhibitor designed to regenerate insulin-producing beta cells to cure type 1 diabetes. The FDA has cleared the initiation of covalent 112, a phase 2 clinical trial of BMF-219 in adults with type 1 diabetes, T1D. Biomia Fusion is a clinical stage biopharmaceutical company dedicated to discovering and developing novel covalent small molecules to treat and improve the lives of patients with genetically defined cancers and metabolic diseases, today announced the U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA, has cleared Biomia's IND application to study BMF-219 in adults with type 1 diabetes. Here we have another example of dual-use drug therapy. In this case, BMF-219 was being studied for treating cancer, but now this therapy looks to support repurposing its use to include a potential therapy for type 1 diabetics. This is good news for the diabetic community. Now, what is a covalent drug? Covalent drugs block protein function by forming a specific bond between the ligand and the target protein. Think of this as a bond like covalent binding small molecule medicines between two entities. The objective of Covalent 112 is to evaluate the safety, efficacy, and durability of BMF-219, a covalent menin inhibitor, in potentially restoring beta cell function. Beta cell loss is a root cause of type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Menin inhibition has been demonstrated to improve beta cell function. Preclinical studies have shown the potential of BMF-219 to specifically regenerate and retain insulin-producing beta cells in animal models of type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Currently, the only available therapy for these patients is exogenous insulin which requires intensive management with chronic multiple daily insulin injections or treatment with an insulin pump, and has a risk of hypoglycemia, increased morbidity, and mortality, stated Juan Pablo Frias, MD, Biomea Fusion's chief medical officer. He added, by targeting one of the root causes of diabetes, we may successfully restore the health and function of the body's mechanism to produce insulin, the beta cells. I'm excited for patients as BMF-219 has shown a significant ability to regenerate and retain those critical cells in preclinical and early phase clinical studies in type 2 diabetes. Our initial clinical data has demonstrated that BMF-219 is potentially disease-modifying for people with type 2 diabetes. We have been diligent in building a program that will evaluate most people with diabetes, including those with type 1 diabetes. Recently, we announced the expansion of our existing Phase 1, 2 study enrolling approximately 300 additional patients with type 2 diabetes. Today, we are thrilled to announce that the FDA has also cleared our IND to study BMF-219 in type 1 diabetes. Our new study, Covalent-112, is designed to enroll 150 patients with type 1 diabetes, stated Thomas Butler, Biomea Fusion's chief executive officer and chairman of the board. He further added, I am immensely proud that Team Fusion has achieved these clinical and regulatory milestones more than three months ahead of our guided timelines. We have now established a clinical development plan that we believe will fully explore the potential of BMF-219 across the spectrum of diabetes. The next quarters will be very exciting as we expect these studies will begin to read out. We are utilizing our proprietary fusion system to discover, design, and develop a pipeline of next-generation covalent binding small molecule medicines designed to maximize clinical benefit for patients with various cancers and metabolic diseases, including diabetes. We aim to have an outsized impact on the treatment of disease for the patients we serve. We aim to cure. So, my friends yet another company working diligently to use a proprietary therapy, in this case, covalent menin inhibitors to restore beta cell function. I want to add that this is potentially another solution to avoid taking immune suppressant drugs. I'm really happy that we see more companies that are attempting to circumvent immune therapy and the risks associated with its usage. This is great news, and I'm glad to have shared it with you today. Keep watching our channel for more news on cutting-edge technology to combat type 1 diabetes. Have a great day and we will talk soon.